Thanks for tuning in. Today, we are going to explore the best places to get shoes and sneakers here in Bangkok. We will cover everything from custom-made leather shoes to limited exclusive sneakers and the best places to hunt down second-hand footwear for cheap. If you're a sneakerhead, this episode is for you. So let's get going. I got a lead to meet up with one of Bangkok's best custom leather shoemakers. And given that tailor-made shoes take time to get made, I will hit them up first. Free Shoes has a store here on the second floor inside Siam Paragon. And Jui will lead me through the process of getting a pair of custom-made shoes for myself today. My name is Kongde Sitisupon. Big name is Jui. I'm a third generation shoemaker in Thailand. My grandfather, my father, he is a shoemaker. I have studied shoemaking at Stefano Bammer Shoemaking School at Fallen, Italy. I have really big feet. Yeah. Um, it's no problem to make me a shoe? Yeah, no problem. No problem? I can make for you. So what are we going to do first? Yeah, first time uh, we do a 3D scan machine. A 3D scan machine? Okay, yeah. let's do it. Just step on here? Yeah. Okay, so now this device is scanning my shoes and I do have the feeling that one foot is bigger than the other because every time when I buy a regular pair of shoes, I can definitely feel that I think my left foot is a little bit bigger. But we will find it out right now. So my, I knew it, my left foot is significantly bigger, huh? 298, 295. Okay, export. Export now? Oh, that's nice. Can I take this one home? Yeah. Oh, okay, nice. I will send the, the file to you. Amazing. Okay. Nice. For the traditional measure, I can measure your feet by oh. my hand. Yeah. That's nice. That's uh, how you used to do it. Do the double check, double check. Okay, okay. <laughs> I will show you. Sure. Yeah, yeah. So I'll just step my feet here. Yeah. It's really uncomfortable showing my feet in public. I'm doing this just for you guys. Look, yeah. he has to put the paper square. Yeah. Because my feet are that big. Okay. After successfully going through a 3D scan of my feet and the additional old school method of taking my measurements with pen and paper, I still had one special request. I want to ask, do you, have, do you also have sneakers? Sneaker, uh, you sent to me. Yeah. It's a long time ago. Okay. But I can make for you. Really? Yeah, because. Uh, I have a pattern and a shoe last. Uh -huh. That would be amazing because my yeah. girlfriend would probably uh, prefer if I buy classical man shoes, but I already have those and I usually wear all black. Uh -huh. So if you could make me a pair of sneakers, I would really appreciate it. Yeah, I can make. Oh. Yeah. Thank you very much, guys. Mm -hmm. nice. All right, guys, I cannot wait. Now, we will see each other in the factory and we will actually take a glimpse at how my sneaker is being produced. So I'll see you guys at the factory. Jui allowed me to take an inside look into each step of the process of how shoes are being made here. Everything is indeed made by hand, with unbelievable precision by Jui's experienced team. After the leather pattern for the top shoe is being cut, the overlapping areas are being shaved off before they get sewn together to achieve a slick look and not make the shoe appear too thick. Oh my god, look at this guys. <laughs> He's just stitched it by hand parallel. Also look at this stitching. Just perfect everywhere. Nice. Okay, let's continue. Show us around a bit. Thank you very much. After all parts have been put together by the cutter, the inside sole is being prepared and the closer then stretches the lever over each individual mold and fixes it to the sole to make your shoe fit. To my surprise, they've actually let me try this one out on my own. You want to tie your shoe? My shoe? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Would I? Should I? Do, should I do the Kevin's time. Kevin's shoe? <laughs> I mean, whoever whoever Kevin is, uh, I'll be participating in making your shoe. I hope you subscribe for that. All right. Mm. Okay. Mm, me. Not really. Use your finger yeah. and, uh, hold, and hold, hold it. Hold. hold. Uh -huh. And now uh, I take one. Yeah. And I put it in here. Uh, Here's okay. This. Yeah. yeah. Uh. <laughs>
Yeah, this is how you do it? Okay, Kevin, we're getting your shoe done. Oh. Okay, Kevin, the shoe might get a little bit tight uh, in the toe area. Okay. Well, that looks quite smooth, right? <laughs> nice. Okay, and this, oh my god, this looks so much better. Yeah. I, def I definitely want to put a nail in in my shoe, but here I will apply a better technique. So, okay, I will take a nail, and then with that I officially uh, participated in making my own shoe. Yeah, 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 don't worry. I'm willing to sacrifice my finger for the shoe. That's a very, very difficult uh, job to do precisely, I see. Yeah, he did a much better job here. This one I kind of, uh, you know, didn't turn out so good. Okay, I trust you fixing my shoe up and uh, let's go to the next station. I am so proud I had the opportunity to take part in making my own shoe and Kevin's. After the bottom is finished, this guy will apply additional coloring to give the lever a distinct shine before they polish them. But before this entire procedure, you will be invited to the store for a fitting to make sure the mold came out the right way before the team proceeds to produce your shoe with genuine leather. So do those are already... Already. Those are already my shoes? No, no, no. <laughs> just a okay. Fitting is okay. Fitting, okay, cool, yeah, sure. And they are more or less my size? Yeah. Right. Okay, so let's try the fitting. Okay, let's see how they fit. What type of leather is this? It's, uh, it's not leather. It's just a PU polyester. Oh, just for the fitting? Yeah. Okay. And that's smart. Why would you use a lever for fitting? Huh? Oh, makes sense. People will think I'm retarded making uh, lacing my shoes up. I know how to lace shoes. It's just I'm nervous, guys. It's my first pair of custom-made sneakers. What? Okay. Oh my god. Super nice. Feel good. Feel good. After the fitting is completed, the guys will finish up and package your shoes at the factory. Depending on your order and their current order volume, the entire process can take anywhere from three to six weeks. All right. Thank you so much for letting us film the process of how you're making the shoes. So the shoe is being manufactured here by hand and then they will send it out to your home or you can pick it up at the showroom at Siam Paragon. I'm super excited. I cannot wait until my shoe arrives. And once my shoe arrives, I will show you guys how it looks like and how it fits. Let's let Julie and his team work on my custom-made leather sneakers while I take the time to get a quick haircut and continue with the next spot on our list. Black Amber and Tong Law is one of my favorite hairdressers in Bangkok. And lucky for me, they are in the same soil as 24 Kilates, which is one of the hottest sneaker dealers here in Bangkok. So let's go and check them out. This little lifestyle sneaker shop located here in Tong Law looks absolutely fantastic. They also have a beautiful branch inside Central World and various pop-up stores across Bangkok. Oh wow, they even have the Nike Air Max 97. Now this shoe is extremely popular in Germany in uh, hip-hop and street culture and uh, it goes for only 3,250 baht, which is roughly about 100 euros. Those go for much more in Germany. 24 Kilates features special edition sneakers from all the known brands. They have all the popular models, a lot of special edition stuff and really cool crossover sneakers I haven't seen anywhere else in town. Now this is one of the most stylish tracking sneakers I've ever seen. I think it's a Nike with a Gore-Tex sole, like a rugged one. Prices are super fair, considering that you won't be able to find those type of sneakers anywhere else in malls around Bangkok. The second floor houses an assorted collection of merchandise and apparel. Nothing ends up here by chance. Everything is a well-sorted fashion item that fits their sneaker collection downstairs. I also ran into the owner, who just flew into town from Spain. So let's hear what 24 Kilates is all about from him. Hi guys, this is 24 Kilates, Tonglo, in Thailand, Bangkok. This is our most beloved 
of our stores. And then you can always visit our, our other branch in uh, Center World, second floor. When you come to 24 Kilates store, you will find exclusive sneakers, but whatever you find, the most important is that you will find our family. We'll take care of you forever. Be nice with us, we'll be nice with you. There you have it. Make sure to pay those guys a visit if you are searching for the latest footwear. Let's move on to our next spot. Hey, I know this area. So if you search for a spot to cool down here in Bangkok, just go one street further and visit Cryo. I have featured this one in one of my previous episodes. But I've never paid attention to this little inconspicuous shop over here. So let's see what those guys are up to. This little sneaker spot looks like a hidden gem only insiders know about. Besides the Tonglo branch, Project Hype also sells shoes at Central Udon and Central Phuket. With the limited space available, Project Hype condensed everything in the store to the absolute best and most fashionable collection possible. Sneakers come in all price ranges, and you will come across some really special limited edition sneakers here as well, if that is what you are looking for. By all accounts, those guys are real sneakerheads. If you search for something specific, don't hesitate to reach out to them via social media. Let's move this episode along and check out a few mainstream places here in Bangkok now. Coming from Tong Lor, you can stop at M-Sphere when passing the BTS station in Prom Pong. M-Sphere is a new mall that recently opened its doors to the public after more than half a decade of development. It features Thailand's first and only Foot Locker. Moving on to the city center, you will find a bunch of brands like Adidas and Nike that have set up shop in various malls. A notable mention is Bangkok's Vans flagship store, located here in Siam Center. Besides offering their latest sneakers and apparel, you will be able to customize any sneaker you buy for free at their in-store workshop. You can slap on all types of patches, rivets and get creative with various colors and materials. Oh, before we plow ahead, my girlfriend always buys her shoes at Villains SF, which is also located here at Siam Center. They have really unique shoes and sneakers in all types of crazy colors and designs. So if you're one of my rare female subscribers, this one's for you. Another popular franchise catering to sneaker enthusiasts is JD Sports. They have a couple locations in Bangkok. They are located here at Siam Center as well and usually have really good offers and discounts all year round. So while chains like Foot Locker and JD Sports cater to the regular sneaker buying experience here in Bangkok, there is actually a shop across the street here in Siam that is offering high quality sneakers called Carnival. So let's head over there. Carnival is a prestige Thai brand that resells and cross promotes with known sneaker brands. They are located somewhere here around Siam. Oh, so it's not on this side, it's not on the left side, it's uh, on the right side. So this is Carnival's Siam flagship store, but they have a lot more kicking around in Bangkok, including their latest store inside Warehouse 30, which is located in Talat Noi, known for its graffiti and artwork scene. Oh, look who we have, a familiar face. Carnival puts out the latest and greatest drops across the industry. You will find all the best brands for sneakers and apparel right here. They are the only Thai brand in the Adidas Consortium, participating in their Consortium Cup design competitions. Carnival shows off their collaborations inside glass boxes on the floor upstairs, but you can also buy their latest collaborations off the shelf. Yeah, so I keep seeing those. I, I don't know if I'm just too old or if I just missed a trend, but like <laughs> those type of shoes don't strike me as very beautiful or comfortable for that matter. They also collaborate with local Thai artists and manufacturers to launch their own accessories, toys and gadgets. Alright, enough of uh, sneaker shopping in uh, fancy malls and boutiques. Let's go and hunt for some second-hand footwear. Second-hand and thrifting is not as big as it is in North America or Europe, but there are some spots you can check out to buy second-hand sneakers. Most notably, 
the Patavi Corn Flea Market. It's the biggest second-hand flea market in Bangkok and I have a whole episode about it for you to check out on my channel. You can also visit Wang Lang Market or the Sri Nangarindra Train Night Market. But when it comes to second-hand shoes, you are probably best served visiting the vintage market inside the Bangsu Junction here in Chatuchak. There is plenty to explore around here, but this little shop is a real gem for second-hand sneakers. They have all types of brands in all sizes. Their prices are unbeatable and their collection is constantly in rotation. Just beware that larger sizes will be a little more difficult to come by on the second-hand markets here in Thailand. You can walk over to some of the other sneaker shops in here as well. There is a bunch of new ones popping up every time I visit. Plan in enough time when coming here, because you will very likely get sidetracked by all the other cool little shops around here. And speaking of time, it's time for me to head back home, because I just received the message that my custom-made sneakers got delivered. So let's go upstairs for the reveal. I cannot wait. Oh, oh the lever is so soft. All right. They definitely fit really well. I love those sneakers already. All right, I hope this episode helps you to find the sneakers that you want to buy here in Bangkok, Thailand. I will link all of the locations and price ranges in the description box below. And if you are wondering what those custom made free shoe sneakers cost, I cannot really give you an answer. It will depend on the size, materials, design and foundation used. The price will range between 3,000 up to plus 10,000 baht, depending on what you want. So you best get in touch with Free Shoes directly to see where you come out. My biggest feed set me back about 9,500 baht, which is quite a lot. But given that they are custom made and look slick enough to replace my dress shoes and are super comfortable to wear in a casual setting, I am very happy with my purchase. Let me know some of your favorite spots to purchase high-end sneakers or shop for good second-hand sneakers at low prices here in Bangkok. That's it from me today and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.